So obviously I'm not a good filmmaker because I start somewhere in the middle. Uh, already taken out the saddle, the battery and the battery tray. And the object is to fit this shock where the current one is because it doesn't work so good no more. So I've uh, given myself some space to reach uh, top bolt here. Don't know about the bottom though. somewhere. We'll see. Okay, so the bolt can be reached with a spanner. Okay, so to try to take some of the tension off of these bolts, which you can hardly see, I've put a jack underneath the swing arm. Let's see if that works. this one yeah. almost I'll need some uh, assistance okay bolts are out but unfortunately this shock still doesn't have any place to go so I'm going to have to take out the fuel pump assembly which is mounted together with the regulator uh, let's see how that goes. Okay, I've pushed to the side as much as possible the fuel pump and re regulator assembly. And I had to remove the evaporator cam. Now let's see if I can get it out. with one hand. Well, as you can see, it involves a lot of fumbling a bit. If I caught that, but it's out. <coughs> now let's see if the numbers are actually the same. Uh, no. It looks the same in every way. Okay, so after 
greasing up the uh, bushing that's at the top. And the uh, assembly was the reverse of this assembly, as they say. I got it back in, put the bolt through, and I was just hanging from the one bolt. And underneath here on the swing arm, there's actually just a rubber bushing. So I guess the idea is to put the bolt through and put the bike on its wheels and then tighten it so you don't ruin the rubber bushing. Okay, you might not want to forget that this uh, bracket which holds the fuel pump actually notches in the rear fender and also, by doing so, supports that canister, which I'm not getting into focus at all. There you go. So everything's tightened on the other side. So I had a kind of a hard time getting this rectifier construction thing back in because I didn't realize the notch on the other side. Uh, put a different cap on the air hose. Yeah, you see this has been uh, fixed before by me because it was starting to burn out. A lot of people will blame these rectifiers but this rectifier is actually still okay. It was just the wiring, the connectors that were burned. <laughs> 